Well, looks like we got here too late. Eh, not necessarily. He's still in one piece, after all. I'd have to say everything that happened to him must have just happened in his head. We'll keep an eye on him until morning. Yeah, but he'll be all right, won't he? Ah, I, I think so. I mean, after all, you were all right after your encounter all those years ago, weren't you? Well, at least your mind was. Everything else, well, that's a different story. Ugh, don't remind me. And anyway, he certainly won't be eager to come back here, not after what happened last night. And luckily, the monster won't be able to hurt him again if he's not at Howland Lake. I wish there was something more we could do to help. I fear this line will never be safe again. All I know is that he won't be the last engine to suffer here. But the Fat Controller still won't listen to me. I've told him that the reconstruction of this line must be halted immediately. This part of the island, it isn't safe. The more engines that get hurt, the clearer that will become. All we can do is try to prevent any serious accidents and keep you hidden. At least for now. What happened last night? And how did I end up here? <gasps> Stepney? What on earth are you doing all the way out here? I... I have no idea. I need to speak to someone. I need to talk to someone who might be able to help me. Huh? I need to go to Croven's Gate as soon as possible. For another great day? Oh yeah, you bet. I'm taking a train to the new station by the light today. I haven't had the chance to see it since they finished the construction. Let me know how it looks. I will. See you later. Psst, James. James! James! Wake up! Huh? Oh. oh. Hello, driver. We've got to get going. Your first train is due soon. Uh, is it trucks or passengers? Trucks. Uh, oh, great. Hey! Who's this big, ugly monster? Surely he's not fit for mainline work. Oh, shut up, you horrid lot! Uh, now get in line and be quiet! Ooh, what a smart color that engine is. Very splendid indeed. But who's that engine over there? My, my, that black paint is quite bleak. Humph! Yes, that's the new engine. He's not as special as me, of course. To be quite frank, I forget that he's even there sometimes. Oh! Ouch! Oh, my apologies. I didn't see you there. Oh. It's no problem. Just watch out next time. Yes, I will. I'm so sorry. Have a good day, um... What was your name again? <sighs> My name is James. Oh, 
Hello, Stepney. What's wrong? Oh, Rusty. Thank goodness I found you. I need your help. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was. Thank goodness my driver found me. Hmm. And this was at the old station by the lake? Yes. That's very strange. Why do you say that? Well, years ago, I heard a story about an old engine that fell into a ravine while crossing a bridge over a river. And I wonder if the lake you were near is connected to the river that our line passes over. Why would that matter? Well, it's curious to hear about what happened to you because you weren't the only engine who had a strange night. What do you mean? Well, uh, the other day, Duncan was being rude to Peter Sam, so I told him the story of that engine to try and, you know, spook him a little. I didn't mean anything by it, but now Duncan is refusing to leave his shed, and it all started after he tried to cross the old iron bridge late last night. I thought he was just being silly, but... Maybe he really did see something. Is Duncan here? I think it would be better if I spoke to him. Duncan? Are you there? Go away! I don't want to talk. Duncan, Stepney experienced something odd last night, too. Just like you did. You should listen to him. What? What do you mean? What happened? It started when my driver and fireman left me at the station last night. It... it was like... I was in a nightmare. I, I can't explain it. <sighs> Puh! What rubbish! Sounds like you had a bad dream. Nothing like what I saw. Well, Duncan, what did you see? I already told you, our drivers were just playing a trick on you. They dropped a rock over the bridge and- No, Rusty, that's not what I'm talking about. What was it then, Duncan? Huh. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Now leave me alone. That's all we'll get out of him for now, I think. But that still doesn't explain what happened to me. Have you heard of any other engines with similar experiences? Hmm. I know that Henry thought he saw a ghost near that old line a few weeks ago, but that just turned out to be Old Bailey. But I guess... I guess I could talk to him. Yes! Go and speak with Henry. I wish I could help more, but I've got to get back to work. We've got to go get back to work too, Stepney. But driver, I need to find Henry! It's- We haven't got the time, Stepney. We're already late enough as it is. All this running around is silly. But I- No, Stepney. No more. Now let's go. I just feel like I don't belong here. Oh, it's just growing pains, James. You'll feel better soon enough. Well, you do have to admit your color's rather ugly. And you're not anything special either. Silly, reckless James. Hey, shut up. Ah, how dare he bump us. We'll show him. I don't care what anyone says. I know what happened last night. I'm not going mad. And even if it was just a bad dream, there's no way to explain how I got to that shed. Why won't anyone listen to me? I know what I saw. I know. I know. I know. I know. I don't feel safe here anymore. I want to leave! Come now, Stepney. We've got important work to do here. You can manage. No! I want to work somewhere else. I don't want to stay here. I'm not moving another inch! 
Stepney, please! No! <sighs> what should we do? <sighs> this isn't like him. Maybe we should just try and appease him, you know? It's no use fighting, after all. <sighs> Hmm, so Stepney is refusing to work. How strange. That doesn't sound like him at all. What could it possibly be about that old line that makes everyone so nervous? First Henry, now Stepney. All right, send him back to the yards. I'll arrange for another engine to take over. Thank you. Hmm, could it be? <laughs> of course not. Crazy old man. Maybe I shouldn't let him operate that old station after all. James? James? Wait a moment, please. What is it, sir? Stop shunting those trucks, please. I need you to work elsewhere for the rest of the day. Where, sir? Stepney is refusing to complete his work at the new station, so I need you to go and take over for him. <gasps> but I'm scheduled to take the evening passenger train tonight. James? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going. Oh, five passengers. I deserve passengers. Why don't you do his job like he always does? Must find Henry. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. Huh? Sorry for what? Stepney. Stepney? Stepney? Huh. What an odd little engine. Oh, get on, you. It's enough that the work here is grimy and dirty, but now there's hardly anyone else here to talk to, let alone help me. <laughs> Sir Topham Hat doesn't even consider what I want. It's disgraceful. Henry and Stepney can't really be scared of this line. They're just making up excuses so they don't have to do the dirty work. The only frightening thing about this stupid station is the amount of work left to do on it. James, we need you to shunt these flatbeds near that plot of trees. The men are going to be cutting them down soon. Hurry, please. <laughs> James, watch out! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Ow! Bust my buffers! My shiny, beautiful red paint! Ah, oh, James, you foolish engine! Now look at what you've done! Ah! You silly engine! What a mess! We'd be better off without you here! Why? Why, you little... Without you, everything would have been just fine. Maybe you should just do us all a favor and disappear. I... What? James, <laughs> this is going to take a long time to clean up. You better get back to just work. disappear. Go away. Yes, sir. Who needs you? Let's start here, men. We've got a lot of work to do. What? What, what on earth? Who are you? What are you doing here? Sirs, uh, respectfully, please let me explain. Well, you better start talking then. This line is supposed to be completely abandoned. You're not allowed to be here. Ah, but did you find out exactly why this line was abandoned all those years ago? No. What are you talking about? This line, gentlemen, it's not safe. You're better off leaving us here to deal with it. 
What utter nonsense? What do you mean, not safe? There are malevolent forces at play. Things that can't be explained. Things beyond you or I. An evil spirit haunts this line and this lake. And anyone that remains here for too long will lose themselves to its madness. I've seen it myself. Please, just leave. Now. Huh. <laughs> A crazy old loon in a rusty pile of junk. This has to be a joke. Listen, you're gonna have to evacuate the premises before I call the authorities. Sir, please, you must listen to me. I, I must ask that you vacate the premise. Hey, now hold on just a moment. I, I think we'd better go. He's telling the truth. Whoa, what? Don't tell me you're buying this, Edward. Uh, sir, I think Edward might be right. Something feels off about this place. Now, I suggest you all return to Sir Topham Hatt and inform him that the refurbishment of this line should be postponed indefinitely. And please, don't share that you met us. But, but, I, I... <sighs> All right, let's go. I'll think of something to say to Sir Topham Hatt, but he won't be pleased. I appreciate your discretion in this matter. I... I guess we should go back, Edward. Hey, come back tonight. We'll talk more then. I I I'll try my best. It wasn't a request. You must come back. We have to explain what's going on. Okay, but... Edward! Let's get a move on! Uh, yes, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, please come back. Oh, I can't wait to leave. There's something strange about that lake. Yes, something very strange indeed. Maybe they were right. Oh, James, you're such a scaredy engine. I am not scared. Just tired is all. Tired, James? <laughs> tired of what, James? Tired of being a rusty red piece of scrap iron? Tired of taking up space? Tired of being vain? What? what, what? what? Tired of wishing you were as fast as Gordon? Or as strong as Henry? Or as kind as Edward? Face it, James. You're nothing more than a waste of space. A small part of a crowd that you'll never stand out in. And you're not fooling anyone with that red paint of yours, either. Your paintwork can't make up for who you are, James. You'll always be the ugly engine who no one ever cared about. You're tired? We're tired of pretending you're special. Shut up. Shut up. I... You trucks really are something. Stupid things. What do they know? All right, we're almost ready to go. Uh, remind me of your name again? Huh? You know my name. I'm James. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. We just need to get a few more things from inside. Stupid owl. What does he want? <laughs> oh, you'll see soon enough. No one remembers engines like you. Just try and run, James. You can't escape who you are. What? What does that mean? Pah! Whatever. They're just trucks, after all. What's the worst they could do?
Edward, I'm going to speak with Sir Topham Hatt about... whatever it is that we just saw. But don't tell him exactly what we saw, sir. I really... I really don't think that would be a good idea. I think you may be right, Edward. Something about that station... something about that lake... from the moment we arrived... I'll take care of it. Please, take the rest of the men back to the yard. Then get on with the rest of your work. Oh no! That means there's been an accident! Yes! James just came through here! His brake blocks were on fire! We'll go with Thomas to fetch the breakdown crane. You wait here! Poor engine. But it can't... But it can't be... Me? The lake? The station? I'd better go back and see that engine. I mean, it's just a coincidence. At least, I hope. Huh! <laughs> what on earth is taking so long? What's wrong, James? Got somewhere you need to be? Yes, I want to go home. And I wish that stupid owl would be quiet. There's not much we can do about the owl, James. But we can certainly help you get where you need to go. <laughs> Bump him! Hey, stop that! Huh? What's going on? Driver, are you there? Hello? Someone! Help me! Hey! Hey! You! Help me! On! On! Faster! Faster! We won't let you stop us this time, <laughs> James! <laughs> James! <laughs> I feared you'd be back sooner than tonight. Was there an accident? How could you know that? Because that's exactly what happened to me. Allow me to explain. It all started one stormy evening long ago. Well, go on then. All right, I've got the perfect story for tonight. And all the engines listened closely as Edward began his tale.